Hello friends, welcome back and in the today's video we are going to discuss about the implicit conversion of an object to a specific data type. You know that whenever you have to convert a particular uh, variable of a particular type to another type then you need to explicitly mention that you want to convert it into a integer, character, asterisk or whatever, right? But in case of classes, right, if you want to write some class which can convert an object to a specific data type suppose you have a class of type string my string I have written this class my string and I want that I want to convert uh, my string into type characteristic or maybe my string into type integer so something like this the intent of writing this program is to you know get the conversion from class of object of class my string to characteristic right and also you know get the length and implicit conversion to get this okay so something like uh, I want like this my string if I write something like s1 and I want that it should be converted into int l is equal to s1 if I write something like this then it should implicitly convert it into the length and it should give me the length of this string right and also if I do something like this char asterisk you know s1 is equal char asterisk s2 is equal to then if I do s1 then in that case s1 which is the string that should directly you know uh, you know, return back to this s2 in the form of a character pointer so how can we perform this uh, implicit conversion that is what we are going to see in this video so here are two members in this class my string one is str which will contain the string actual string and this is the n len variable which will contain the length of the string right so first of all i have to write the uh, constructor and in this constructor what i will do i will take the one argument constructor i will take one argument s1 uh, something like s only and then I will do strcpy underscore s this is the function to copy uh, the target is str and the source is s so this is how it will work and then uh, let me store the length as well n len is equal to str len and then I can pass like str so in n len uh, we have the length and str we have stored the str now I am going to write the uh, conversion operator right so how to write the conversion operator that I'm going to show you although this is not the uh, one related to the operator overloading but since we are uh, reading about this operator keyword in the context of the operator overloading so I thought like I should you know discuss uh, this meanwhile and you will be aware about one of the concepts uh, related to the uh, C++ as well right so before we move ahead uh, I thought like uh, we should understand this concept as well and this is very important and uh, you will see uh, if you are uh, if you will be working uh, you know in any organization or if you are working then uh, such kind of code you will surely show uh, surely see in your uh, you know uh, in your program whatever uh, code you will be working on okay if you if this that is a c++ course okay uh, that is a c++ code right so now i'm going to write a conversion uh, function conversion operator which will be converting this my string into this uh, characteristic and that will return this str so how to write that let us see simply you need to use operator and then you need to write like care asterisk and then you need to give something like this and that's it and then you need to write return str okay so this conversion operator has been completed this is done this will return the str and if you give something like characteristic s1 is equal to my string object something some my string object then in that case uh, your my string object will implicitly convert and return this value str to characteristic any characteristic that you are taking okay now the second one is operator I think you know now that how to write it operator int and then you will write like return n len okay so now let us see and if you want to write something into the destructor I don't have to write but still uh, we must need to give the destructor 
to complete the class okay complete the class definition so now I'm just going to show you how to use it so I'm just going to create one my string s1 with name with my name basically Vikash and then uh, I need to do something like uh, characteristic Vikash then it will work because it, it is it is taking characteristic this one is characteristic so I have to convert it into the characteristic but after this whatever I will write that will be the implicit conversion okay so here I will write L is equal to s1 okay s1 and then I will write char asterisk p is equal to s1 right so here what will happen that s1 uh, will return the integer right and it will search for this operator and if it founds if it finds this operator then it will run this definition of the function and it will return whatever it is going to return and since it is returning ret uh, integer so it will be uh, you know implicitly assigned to this l so this will assign the length of the string to this l and similarly this will assign the you know string s1 uh, through the s1 the object my string s1 it will assign the you know uh, the actual string uh, back to the care string okay now let us see the output and through the output we will be able to understand that what it has done here I will print P and then in on the next line I'm going to print L okay so so let me run this and let us see what happens okay so Vikas and the length 6 this has been printed here okay so this has been converted from s1 to integer and this conversion operator was called so let us see uh, what happens when we call this uh, let us uh, run this and let us uh, debug this okay so when it will reach to l it has reached to this int l is equal to s1 and i am going to do f11 right so this is f11 so okay it was control f11 okay so let me sh uh, show this one uh, i just need to do f11 so it will now go to the operator so here you can see like it went into this and it has returned this str so you might have understood that what function or uh, what operator will be called when you are doing the implicit conversion so this was all about the implicit conversion in case of the uh, in case of the class and using the operator you know conversion operators how you can do that i hope you might have understood it now so in the next video we will see uh, you know uh, some uh, some exercise related to the operator overloading again and i will include this one uh, characteristic operators and the uh, you know you can say the implicit conversion operator to convert it into the characteristic and we will see how we can overload the plus equal to operator in the next video uh, to you know uh, add two strings okay two strings that we will see in the next video thank you and have a nice day and bye bye and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel